Welcome to the battery shop. Today we'll show you how to replace the 12 volt battery in this 2016 Ford Edge. The battery is located right here under the hood, but it is up under the cowling. We'll show you how to safely and efficiently replace the battery. Let's get started. With gloves and safety glasses on, the first step is to unhook the clips for the air intake cover, and then remove the air sensor by pressing in on the tab and pulling it out. And lift up the air filter cover and set it off to the side. Next, loosen and remove the fastener for the negative cable. You'll need an 11 millimeter wrench for this. Then remove the cable and set it off to the side. Next, loosen and remove the fastener for the battery's hold down bracket. You'll need an eight millimeter wrench for this. Then remove the bracket. Next, slide the battery forward for easier access to the negative battery cable. The next step is to remove the nut for the negative battery cable. You'll need a 10 millimeter wrench for this. Then loosen the fastener for the positive battery cable, again using your 10 millimeter wrench. Remove the positive battery cable from the battery's positive terminal, replace the cap, and set it off to the side, making sure not to touch any metal on the vehicle. Now we can remove the old battery. Then loosen the fastener for the negative cable clamp using your 10 millimeter wrench. Then remove the negative cable clamp from the battery's negative terminal. And reinstall the negative cable clamp on the replacement battery's negative terminal. It's always a good idea to clean the terminal and cable clamp before doing so. Then reinstall the new battery. Next, reinstall the positive battery cable on the battery's positive terminal. and tighten the fastener. And then reinstall the negative battery cable. And tighten its fastener. Reinstall the battery's hold down bracket and tighten the fastener. And reinstall the negative cable and tighten the fastener. Next, reinstall the air sensor. Finally, Reinstall the air filter cover and rehook the clips. And we're done.